So I have a favourite and least favourite thing about TikTok. My favourite thing is that we make random people on the internet famous. And my least favourite thing is we make random people on the internet famous. So today, meet Strange Kevin. I would say that name is quite fitting, but I don't think it is. Terrifying Kevin would maybe be more of a fit. Now if you're on TikTok, you're probably aware of him. If not, count yourself lucky. And thank God that they never put this man on your For You page. So you're probably looking at that face that I put on screen and wondering, how did this man get famous? Well, let me show you. I'd like to be everything you want. Hey, girl, let me talk to you. If I was your boyfriend. He got famous for having eyes, I guess. They're called siren eyes, I think. I don't actually know what that means. Let me Google it. What are siren eyes? Well, it's more of a vibe than an actual definition. Oh, shut up. Thanks, Google. Useful. Yeah, you would understand. It's more of just a vibe. It's like getting into Berkine. I'm pretty sure I had him in my last video. Bit ironic that them two are right next to each other. They're like the TikTok creep Avengers, and their superpower is manipulating young girls. But the thing is, with Snapshot Eye, at least he's funny. At least he provides some source of entertainment. He does funny little silly goof dances. He even has his own national anthem. Whereas with this guy, Strange Kevin, he's... Strange. He's definitely one of them people that refers to himself as strange. Which is always just like a weird way to say that I'm racist or something. Haha, <laughs> you just wouldn't understand my humour. I don't know why he got popular, because if you just go on his account and just scroll, you'll, you'll see this. Oh, didn't know I ordered pepperoni pizza. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't nipple shame. I've had some insults towards my nipples before and they don't make me feel good about my nipples. Ah! Jump scare? Oh, that head is shining at me like Helios. I bet when his mum said he's bright as the sun, she literally meant it. Jump scare warning, please, Kevin. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Charlie Chaplin, if he went on Love Island and started choking random women. Mm. Wait, why Why is she lip syncing? Is, is she enjoying it? Oh my god, I thought this was ironic. Kevin, just wait for this one, girls. I thought she meant like, as in like a bad way. No, sh she loves him. Day three of duet and my future lover Tilly notices me. Hashtag daddy. <laughs> Seek help. Let's start a GoFundMe so we can send you to therapy or rehab or both. Oh my god. And I bet you're wondering, Lois, this is quite harmless. Why did this all go wrong? Well, pretty much he gained a couple million followers and the fame and the money went to his head. And I don't mean cosmetic surgery, although he could probably do for hair transplant. Nothing wrong with cosmetic surgery. I got my years done. But that's because I got called Dumbo in high school. Oh my god, we Patreon? Wait, Patreon makes a lot more sense for me because because you, with me, it's not like it's there's no easy way to say this, guys. But the attraction people have for me aren't like isn't like a normal attraction that people have for like a hot creator. It's like, brother, your name is Kevin. You're not Ted Bundy. I doubt there's people queuing up at your house and sending you letters. Who hyped him up as if his name isn't literally Kevin. I don't care how good looking you are. If your name's Kevin, people don't find you attractive. Just look at the Jonas Brothers. Everyone knows Nick and Joe. Nobody knows Kevin. And I think Kevin's bloody beautiful. But the fact is, if your name's Kevin, nobody cares. It's like, you guys don't want to just look at me. Like, a lot of you want to, like, smell my musk. Like <laughs> Sorry, what? I have never heard anyone say that sentence, ever. That is a compilation of words that should have never been said. What do... Musk, does that, does that just mean what you smell like? What do I smell like? Oh, desperation and depression. The two Ds. Did someone say Ds? <laughs> Sorry. You, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No offense. No offense to any people, anybody who want to smell my, my musk. What? Where is he getting these assumptions from? Just because people have followed him. Hi guys, I know we've just hit 200,000 subscribers, but I know every single one of you are here just because you just want to suck on my toes. <coughs> you know what? Love yourself, King. But there's some things that you just shouldn't say out loud. You know, where other people can hear them. This man probably thinks he's better looking than me. And look at me. I'm adorable. I mean, judging by his comment section, a lot of people find him more attractive. This is your chance to give Louis some validation in the comment section so he feels better about himself. What is also so funny is he thinks he's so uh, attractive that anyone that doesn't think he's attractive, it annoys him. Outdo the doer.
Ni thought he ate. Did he really just take 12 seconds to formulate that response? He did eat. In fact, he, he ate the whole buffet. Is that the saying? I think it is. He ate the whole damn buffet. It's always the twinks. No, I stop, stop, stop. I'm not talking about, I'm not saying nothing. It's always the twinks. At least he fits into a category. What do you fit into? Bald men in their 20s? And I know some of you are still thinking, Lewis, but where did this go wrong? The same as every other creator. They gain followers, it goes to their head, and then they get cancelled. There's actually quite a lot of stuff about him. I'm sure you'll be able to find it. There'll be plenty of other videos going into depths of it. But one of them was making like TikToks about DV, and we're just gonna have a look at them. Right. And I got some pretty fucked up sense of humor. What's the punchline? Beating a woman? Great. If that makes you a comedian, call Chris Brown. The whole idea of like dark humor, but there's just like no punchline, just... Why? Like, how do you get the idea of this? Oh, I'm bored. How do I make a TikTok today? Let me pretend to beat a woman. <sighs> like, come on, man. It's so odd. So odd. I've just realized that the caption says, take notes. What type of notes? To avoid you at all costs? Imagine if you're a girl and you find like exchange social medias with him. And the funniest part about this, I mean, there's nothing funny about this. What is funny is he denies that that is him. He says, it's simply not me. Okay, I'm not going to be led to believe that this person is me. It is not me. That is not me. That person has nothing to do with me. So you hear him say that? It's not him. As if it isn't a bald and man also called Kevin. How unfortunate would that be? Which all you need to do is just go into one of his YouTube videos and you can see him show his own profile where the video is literally right there. Unless he has an identical twin also called Kevin that we don't know about. That, that, that's him. And trust me, God would not be mean enough to put two of him on this planet. The police force could barely deal with one of him, let alone two. And his live streams are rather weird. <laughs> He just pretends to be panicking the whole time. If that's the case, where's my followers? I'm always like that. That is just me at any social gathering. Seeing that there's a few claims of an ex-girlfriend, I am a gay man. There was no ex-girlfriend. That's because an ex-girlfriend came out and said some like dodgy stuff about him. And now his answer was that he's a gay man. Which you know, he could be gay, he could be bisexual. Your sexuality can change. But then there's also another clip of him saying this. Anybody calling me gay? I am not, I am not gay, I am not part of the LGBT Wait for community. It. Let that be said from my mouth, from my lips. I, I've seen that there's a few claims of an ex-girlfriend. I am a gay man. What? Th these videos could not be more than days apart. Even, even the comment says, why are you gaslighting? He's not gaslighting, he's the gaslighter. This grown man makes snapshot eye seem normal. Do you know how crazy and unhinged you have to be to make snapshot eye seem normal. For someone with a mutilation kink, I really can't cut for shit. So, a, a what? A what? A what? For someone with a mutilation kink, I really can't cut for shit. Right, to be fair, I wouldn't be surprised if that's a package from the dark web. And then after all this came out, his account got mass reported and then banned, and now he's just fully <laughs> entered his villain arc. Nobody handed this to me. I worked my ass off for this. You think I just can't do it again? Ask yourself. Genuinely. What's your end goal? You want me to delete my account? Then what? Then what? You don't think I'll come back? You don't think I'll come- Who are you? Jesus? Don't remember Jesus making fuss traps for the internet. I, I think it's illegal to even call them fuss traps. Traps is what they should just be called. This is all so funny because he's some 33 year old man named Kevin. Which is true! Let's actually play a fun game guys. Have a guess at how old you think Kevin is. A. 31. B. 34. Or C. 39. None of them. He is 21 years old. That man thing is 21 years old. 21 plus VAT? His hairline goes back further than his dodgy TikToks. Come on, Kevin. First flight to Turkey. Chop chop. Actually, not chop chop. You should probably hold on to your hair. One sweep of a scissor. Andrew Tate. I get it. Some of y'all think I look good. And I think I'm attractive. But I didn't get my platform for looking good. I got this shit for my comedy. And I got some pretty fucked up sense of humor. Oh, shut up, you bald twat. I'm alright with an eye, I'm stuck in. 